Oh, so it all makes sense now. That's why she want all these slutty, trashy women to be on stage. Kamala did what Kamala always does. She just put her head down and she went to work. How are you good people doing? Welcome to the channel. I am Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I appreciate you taking time out of your day or your evening to view my content. Make sure that you are following me. If you're following me on all the platforms you see above and below, hitting this like button is how my content can consistently be recommended to you. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification and process. That way you'll be notified when I post a video. So of course, I'm going to be talking about this, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to us, because earlier, if you were with me, I was taking a trip on the plane the other day. No, I'm just joking. But I did a live video whoa i did a live video and i went on this rant about how the democrats keep on doing the same exact playbook and why wouldn't they do it when it has worked for so long malcolm x tried to warn us and yeah, this included comedians comics trumpet players baseball players show me in the white community where a comedian is a white leader show me in the white community where a singer is a white leader or a dancer or a trumpet player is a white leader these aren't leaders. These are puppets and clowns that uh, have been set up over the white community and or over the black community by the white community and have been made celebrities and usually say exactly what uh, they know that the white man wants to hear. Yeah. And here we are today, years later, and it's the same exact playbook and Negroes still can't see through it. Who they get? They get Glorilla to get up there. And perform. And I told y'all earlier when I went on a rant in the car, that's all they need to do to get black folks on board. Get some get some music in there. Get some booty shaking. Get any of that. Get something about weed or something like that. And they say, these creatures, that's all you got to do to lure these black creatures in. That's what I, y'all, y'all, of course I'm being sarcastic if you had a kind of, yeah, come on now. Lure these black creatures in. Just do some booty shaking. Just do some hardcore rap. You know, drop the word that they claim that they hate that white people say you got a room full of white people and you get this woman to get up there and she's dropping the n-bomb in her lyric yes she dropped the n-bomb in her lyric listen you didn't catch it you you you, you want me you want me to play it for you in real time is that what you want to do let's play it in real time okay let, let me let me let me play it for you in real time She just had people. Okay, now I know they did not just disappear. Here we go. Where you at? Listen. She did say it. The first time she skipped over it, but then the second round through, she said it. Watch. It's 7 p.m. Friday. It's 95 degrees. I ain't got no hitter. So in there she's saying, I ain't got no hitter and no hitter ain't got me. That's in in, in place that would be the N-word, but watch this. Let's go. I'm about to show my these hitters love them. Todd, that ain't what she's you heard her say, but these in love them. It's 7 p.m. Friday. It's 95 degrees. I ain't got no N-words and no N-words ain't, ain't got me. Let's go. I'm about to show my these hitters love them. Todd, that's not what she said. Okay, let's go to the lyrics right here. Here it is right here. You hear the part where she said about it being 7 p.m.? There it is. Remember I told you she said, I ain't got no hitters? And she, she replaced it with the N-word. I ain't got no hitters and no hitters ain't got me. Uh-huh. I'm about to show my A, but these, and she clearly said these, then she said the N-word. Go back to it. Let's see. Let's go back to it. Yeah, I'm rubbing it in. I'm taking my time. I'm going to rub it in because I want you to hear it to show you how this just crazy it is that we don't say nothing and do nothing about this when it's put in our face like this, when y'all want to talk about this N-word that I know y'all are just fake virtue signal over like you really hate to hear it. About to show my A and these niggas love them. There it is. About to show my A and these niggas. Yeah, you see that right there. Right there. Boom. 
So I just wanted to bring that to your attention because I told you guys that a lot of people get pissed off when I do stuff like this because you act like I'm talking about black people when I have, you have no idea I'm literally taking up for you because it's demoralizing that they feel and they think that they can just continuously do this. And why not do it when we accept it? When we, accept, we, are, we are accepting this. That's all we got. You tell me there are no smart Democratic people out there. I don't look at Even though I'm not for the party this time around and probably will never be. Who knows when, if things may change in the future. But my point is they are deliberately mocking us. We are a straight mockery, folks. OK, let me see something. If there was a time where somebody was trying to win the white vote. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying, all white people, y'all got to help me with this because I don't know anything that they try to convince white people with to get them to vote a particular way. All of us should be the same. Black folks, do you think it's not strange that in order to get us to vote, us, we got to be offered like weed. We got to be offered booty shaking concerts. We got to be offered things where they get up there and just drop this in bomb. And like I said, all those white people that are there, who y'all are big on, oh, the party are racist, racist, Trump is racist. Y'all didn't care about that M-bomb getting dropped there, huh? Why not? Yeah, like I call y'all, you are a bunch of fake virtues tickling folks. Y'all are, I don't even know the word for it. I might need Jordan Peters. I need to go get his books and pull something out so I can get some more stuff added to my vocabulary. I don't know what you call it when people, I know about the fake virtue signaling, but when you will sit there and listen to something like that and you won't call it out, You'll call Trump a racist and all that stuff like that, but yet you claim you hate the N-word and everything like that. But when a black person get up there and say it, well, they have a right to say it because they don't know no better. Yeah, that's pretty much how it comes off to me. Black folks, come on now. I know you're not, I know you're not happy about the way I'm bringing this. I know you get pissed off when I give off verbal spankings, but quit focusing on my verbal spanking and focus on why the verbal spanking is happening. I'm literally looking out for us. That is demoralizing. That is humiliating, but why not keep on doing it? We, we keep eating it up. We just going to continuously keep on eating crap like this up. And why wouldn't they continue to do it? That is a very evil genius plan. If you can control people and get people to jump on board and vote a particular way by entertaining them, then why not keep doing it? That's not even hard work. They just make a phone call. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, Godfrey? I like you to go get a hold of the people and um, you know the black ones. You know, don't, is this line secure? Mm -hmm. Go and find out what the niggers are doing now. What is? Oh, they're what? They're turning. Some of them are going towards Trump. No, 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 no. Go and get the booty shaking. Let's get Meg the Stallion and get Glorilla. You know, it's a shame that she gives her name close to the very thing that we think they are. They're monkeys, Glorilla. Go on, let's go. But anyway, give them booty shaking. And this time going around, let's get the niggas weed. Let's get them marijuana. That, that shall get them back on our side too. Maybe they take Trump down to 15% instead of the 20%. Especially the men, because we know that the black niggas, they love smoking weed in those sipping on gin and juice laid back. Yeah, that's how you should think of it. Because that's what they think of us. Po Talk about policy. Oh, we're gonna look into reparations. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put money into the study of reparations, but we're not giving you niggas nothing. Let's keep it real. That's what is happening. Gavin Newsom vetoed it. You're not going to get reparations. All they're going to continue to do is tell you they'll talk about it. They'll put money into studying reparations, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? Okay, tell you. Uh, whoa, whoa, okay, look, Negroes, we will give y'all marijuana, okay? We'll give you marijuana. And are you not entertained? We're giving y'all what y'all want. This is y'all culture. Why not give y'all that? Y'all encourage this behavior. Y'all uplift this behavior. And then when it gets called out, we love it because it's a brilliant plan that when y'all get called out on y'all culture by other people that look like y'all, y'all get pissed off at them. So it's perfect. Let them sit back and let themselves just burn themselves and kill themselves all day long. Let's let these Negroes eliminate themselves out of America. That's why we're focusing on the brown people. All the ones that's coming in illegal. Let's focus on them. Yeah, prove that I'm wrong. Let me know what you guys all think of this by putting it in the comments below after this video. And don't forget to do what you see in that cloud right there if you would, please. The next video that I will do, most likely in chronological order, is going to be up here. Things that I do is a variety on this channel will be down here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.